Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm all bundled up. It's like 9 degrees out this morning. I installed these lithium batteries thinking it was going to change the camping experience. Just found out that my solar panel and my converter are not compatible with lithium. The solar panel was twacking out the voltage. I found that out by just progressively unplugging things till my voltage stayed steady. So in this video we're going to try to upgrade the solar for lithium and upgrade the converter to charge the lithium as well. Let's get started. Besides the voltage going crazy, this was also blinking, which it wasn't doing that before. I think the charging for the solar was fighting with the BMS and the battery because this isn't putting out the correct voltage. Batteries are dead, sorry about the beeping. Okay, here's those guys. Here's the new one I got. I'll link it in the description below if this works out. This is pretty straightforward. It's all labeled. I unhooked everything from the batteries. Okay. It's sad this isn't going to fit this hole. I want to see if this works before I go fabricating something for that. So don't worry, it's not permanent. Let's go ground first. This is all labeled. I mean, it's literally got like a picture of the battery, picture of the solar panel. Okay. I'm gonna go hook up the battery now and we'll see if this works. 14.36. This is the new charge controller. And on my unit, that is located in here. So let's get this out of there. That front unit just came off by loosening those screws. There's the charge controller right there. We just gotta take these two screws out. That slides out like that. We'll have to remove these two wires from this bar, those wires from that bar. Remember to make sure all power is disconnected to the trailer, all the batteries are unhooked. Alright, I got the old one unhooked. I ended up undoing the four screws to get that box out to tilt it a little so I could get in here better. I mean, it doesn't help that I have all my bikes in here. You know, I should have unloaded everything, but I'm literally leaving in two hours. So, just unhook it and hook up the new one the same way. There'll be one to the breaker, one to the common, there'll be a ground. These two were relatively easy to get to. I'm going to put the new one in now. While well, going to install the new one, I had to route the cables behind the board like they were. There's a tang right under here. And this whole board will pop out a little and you can get behind it. Okay, that's installed. That was basically a direct drop in for my model. Let's hook the batteries back up and see if it charges it. Okay, looks like we're at 12.55. Let's fire the generator up, see what it does. I'm just going to use this piece of aluminum to fix that hole. You could use whatever, I'm sure. You could probably just use like that particle board stuff and use a utility knife to cut it. 
I'm going to use the aluminum here. Not the prettiest thing I've ever done. Solar problem fixed.